long time no see everyone <laughs> um so i've decided to because i got a new computer i've decided to start my channel back up again um because i now can edit my videos the way that i know how to edit them with imovie um so i've decided i'm gonna vlog my day today because i have a doctor's appointment um because my health has gone down really badly since last time I have posted on here and I will make a proper video um, of me sitting down and telling everything that has been going on um, with everything um, so stick around for that I don't know if I'll put it in this video or if I'll post it another day um, but I just want to try and, instead of just sitting in my room all the time, try and figure out a way that I can actually express myself and do something with my day-to-day -day life. So, today, after my doctor's appointment, I'm going to TAFE um, to re-enroll me because last year when I was doing TAFE, I couldn't actually finish it because of my health and I got diagnosed with Tourette's. So, there you go. I couldn't actually complete my school because of how bad and severe my tics were at that time. But, that's okay because we're going to go try for round two now that they have been under control a lot more because of medication. Um, so, yeah. So, a couple little things. Um, my gastroparesis has gotten worse, so there's no more coffees, which is really sad. I have to be very careful with what I eat, how much I eat, when I eat it. Like, it's taken a real big turn, which sucks, and has caused a lot of other issues like malnutrition, dehydration, um, issues with my intestines just the normal stuff um but there you go so you won't be seeing me make any coffees or teas like you did when we used to i've gotten a hold of my eating disorder which is really good um but now that gastroparesis has come to join the party a thousand times worse my symptoms look like an eating disorder but I promise you it's not my eating disorder anymore it's the fact that I literally cannot eat without throwing up I wake up at three o'clock in the morning one to three at in the morning just vomiting if I've eaten something that day which is absolute hell but I'm learning to manage it a bit better and yeah the next clip will be on the way to the doctor. So one of the hardest things I find is to do like everyday chores. Um, if it's washing, if it's my litter tray, but I have just done both. I am exhausted and my heart rate is really high. Thanks, Pot. But, um, so Aeoli, I don't know you hadn't met him. Um, he was meant to be over in psychiatric service dog. Um, to help her with her autistic meltdowns and panic attacks and all of that type of stuff. Um, and we were going to see if we could get him trained for my pots and that as well. Um, but we didn't even have to train him. But like every time I'm lying down because of my heart rate and I'm about to pass out, he will go and he will just lick my palms to calm my heart rate down and bring it lower down um, to bring my heart rate back to a normal rate. And as soon as it's back to a normal rate, he'll stop licking me. It's the cutest thing. We haven't trained him at all to do it. Um, and it's actually amazing. And it has saved me from, like, passing out so many times, surprisingly. Sorry for the badass lighting, but, uh, we're off to the doctors now. I got my zebra squishmallow. Name is Iki. Because I'm going to have a nap because I've been up since four. I woke up because I was really nauseous and I just didn't get back to sleep so I'm going to sleep on the way to the doctors. So we are currently at TAFE um, getting me to re-enroll. 
Um, we finished my doctor's appointment. I'm feeling really sick right now. My stomach acid is making me feel sick, which is fantastic. Um, we were pretty much told that the reason I'm getting all these symptoms is from dehydration, which sounds about right. Um, and the fact that I'm not absorbing my meds properly is because I'm dehydrated. So we're going to get some hydrolyte. Oh, my lip is split. So we're going to get some hydrolyte and we're going to try and sip on that because I can't have larges, large amounts of water at a time. So, fingers crossed that works, but we're here at TAFE and I'm feeling like absolute shit. Um... We are home. I am re-enrolled in TAFE now. Um, got little prints. Um, okay, just chuck your tail right in front of the camera. Okay. <laughs> He's just being an affectionate little kitty cat. Um, so, yeah, I'm home. I'm going to start editing the video now. Um, and yeah, not really doing much. So I've just had some dumplings because I was kind of hungry. Um, I'm feeling pretty sick, but I had some on Dancetron, so hopefully that kicks in soon if it decides it wants to kick in. Um, but I've edited everything that I have so far. Um, I'm hoping that I do not throw up these dumplings. I'm gonna be really mad. What time is it? It's four o'clock. I usually would have had a nap, but I've been feeling pretty nauseous, so I haven't been able to sleep, which is very annoying. But I mean, I may sleep better tonight. Probably not. I never sleep well. And especially since I've had food, I'm gonna end up waking up in the middle of the night being sick. But we got the hydrolyte, so I'm just going to start sipping that when, if the undead strong kicks in. Fingers crossed. So I had a lollipop and my stomach really didn't like it at all. I'm in a lot of pain at the moment. I don't know why. I already feel nauseous from my stomach. And it's not digesting shit. Fucky gastroparesis. And now I'm nauseous from pain. The very true parts of gastroparesis. It's currently 12 o'clock and I'm puking. Because of the dumplings I had earlier. I was going to say good morning, but then I realized it's almost two o'clock. Um, so I didn't finish my vlog yesterday because I was in an awful lot of pain last night. It was a really rough night. Um, I dislocated my back again, which was really painful. Um, I dislocated my knee just walking. Um, I was extremely nauseous. And then I was up all, well, not really all night, but like I was dry retching for an hour and then peaking for the next two hours of something I had eaten 12 hours earlier. Yes, you heard me. Um, so it was a pretty rough night. Um, I ended up being asleep from 11 and I would still probably be asleep if my mum didn't need me to take something out of the oven. I am not doing very well because I'm becoming very weak again because I haven't been able to hydrate myself. Um... I've had some hydrolyte, but it wasn't a lot, and it made me feel really sick. Um, and I'm still feeling sick. I know I had the hydrolyte 
go for it. I went to sleep. Am I surprised? No. But it is what it is. Um, but I'm going to finish editing the vlog to hopefully put it up tomorrow. Um, but yeah, um, but I'm feeling really weak and I've already passed out three times today and I've barely been awake. But we just got to get up and get on with our day. Even though I've been asleep for hours. But that's okay. Ouch. Um, there's not really much to update on. But yes, I'll probably end the vlog here. Just because there's nothing happening today at all for the rest of the day. It's just my normal routine of going upstairs at six and then probably crying a lot because I'm in pain. <laughs> I wish that wasn't like a daily occurrence, but it really is. Um, my pain patch will be coming off in a couple days and then I'll get put back on my Dependadol because the pain patch has made me really itchy. Um, and it hasn't done anything more than what the Dependadol does, so there's no point getting a reaction if it's just going to end up the same way as, I mean, if I'm just going to have the same pain as what my old meds did. And then we just kind of have to wait until a specific surgery, which I'll talk more about in another video. Um... But, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed my first, first, that's a, that's a word, my first vlog back. Um, I hope it was entertaining. <laughs> and I hope I wasn't too boring for you guys.